In this video, we are going to understand about the pie charts. Let me first explain to you what you mean by a pie chart. Suppose there's a circle. Okay. Now we all know that this circle represents 360 degree. Okay. Suppose you were given some kind of a data. Let's say in this data we are told that which are the number of students which wear a black shoe, brown shoe and sports shoes. Now in a pie chart what happens is that you represent as to what is the percentage of a particular item which is being used by any person. So if you see, you have 48 students who wear black shoes, you have 40 students who use brown shoes, and you have 72 students who use sports shoes. So the total number of students is the sum of these three, 8, 2, 0, 1, carry, 160. So we have 160 students in all. Okay. Now, if you were asked to represent this data in a circle, basically what happens is that you can do that if you know what percentage, what percentage does each of the item commutes. So suppose you had only black and brown shoes, both 50-50%. If you had a circle and you were supposed to represent this data on the circle, what you could have very easily done is, you could have divided this circle into two parts. Okay. One could have represented the black part. I think I should have used it somewhere. Black, 50%. So I could have used this as the black part, and the other one I could have used as the brown part because both of them were 50 50 percent but the problem comes in when the percentages are different now we know that you know a circle comprises of 360 degree right let's say this is the center of the circle let's say we draw this radius there. in order to depict this data on the pie chart what we need to do is we need to find out how many degrees, how many degrees would each component come out? Let's say you have 160 students who have to command 360 degrees. 160 students represent 360 degree because these 160 students will cover the entire chart. Right? So 1 degree will comprise how much? 360 upon 160. The unitary method that we follow, this goes here. 4 into 4, 4 into 9. So 9 upon 4 degree is what each degree will command. Now using this data, can you find out as to how many degrees would each one of these components comprise? Yes, we can. One unit represents 9 upon 4 degree. So the first one, the black shoes, will represent 48 into 9 by 4 degrees. 4 goes into 48 12 times. 12 into 9 gives us 108. Brown is 40 into 9 by 10, which is 4. Sorry, it's not 9 by 10, it's actually 40 into 9 by 4, then 90 degrees. And sport shoes is 72 into 9 by 4, 132, 8. 9 times 8 gives me 72, 2, 7 carry, 
360 it can also be the balancing fit so now let us start doing this so first i take the black shoes the black shoes basically are 108 degrees now we know 90 degrees somewhere here so 108 degrees should come something around this number so this portion which is 108 degree is the black shoes brown 90 degree now making a 90 degree at this point in time from this side will be difficult so i just draw a straight line here and use a different color this was basically your 90 degree and this will represent the brown shoes and the balance here will be sports shoes So basically, what you have done is, you have represented this data in a pie chart. Okay. Now let me just do the coloring of this. Black shoes. I actually don't have a brown color. Let me use something like this. Brown shoes and the balance is the, this portion is the sports shoes. Let's say the sports shoes is comprised in the yellow part. Now, by looking at these three data, I know this is a bit distorted. Okay. Let's look at it in this fashion only. This is more meaningful. I can say that the number of students who are wearing the sports shoes is the highest, which is also the fact reflected by this and this. So then by using these pie charts, you basically observing them, you see as to what are the various inferences and conclusions you can 